Hey guys, Ryan the Car Guy here. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm actually gonna do a promotional video for a product that was sent to me from an emerging tech company. This company makes uh, basically automobile tech and the product that they asked me to take a look at was a wireless tire pressure monitor system that you can install either internally or externally on your tires. I took a look at the product uh, and I liked it, so uh, they sent me one for free and uh, I wanted to take a look and I chose the external setup so I just can screw them right onto the valve stems and not have to worry about taking the tires off of the rim to get them installed. However, if you're looking at buying new tires, it might be a good option to get the internals so that way you don't have these little sensors on your valve stems. The sensors will track your temperature and your pressure for each of four of your tires. It all comes pre-configured and it comes with everything that you need to get started. I found setup to be pretty easy. Uh, you just have three buttons on the unit. You have a plus, a minus, and a setup button. And you can just hold down the minus button and that's what will turn it on and off. And then you have, of course, your set button where you can set all of the individual parameters. For instance, if you want the unit to be in PSI or bar for the pressure, or of course Fahrenheit or Celsius for the temperature, you can set all those settings and you can also set your high and low warning. So the unit will tell you if your temperature is too high or if your pressure is too low or too high and it will give you an audible warning. It'll also flash the screen if, uh, if it goes outside of the parameters that you set. So let's say the PSI of your tire is 35, that's your max. You'll probably want to do, you know, a PSI of, you know, 40. That's probably way too high. And then if you get below 30 into the 20s, you can get more air into the tire so you can maximize your fuel efficiency. Installing the kit's really easy. You just remove your valve stem cover, screw on the back off nut. Uh, this is going to push against the back of the sensor so it doesn't come off easily and then you install your sensor just by turning it on and then tightening it down. The system comes pre-configured so you just need to screw on the sensors and then the unit will actually detect the sensors whenever there's pressure on them and then they'll just connect to the system. Once you have all four of the sensors installed on the tires that's effectively it. You just make sure that the station is all charged up. It does have a rechargeable battery in it and it's just a micro USB port, so you can plug it in, charge it up, and it will last, you know, as long as it lasts. And then uh, put it anywhere in your truck. Now, I decided to put it in the little cubby hole below the radio. You can also, if you wanted to, put it on the dash, or it's wireless. So if you don't really want to have it out on your dash, you can just put it in your center console, in the glove box, anywhere, uh, you know, where if there is an alarm, you can hear it, and you don't necessarily have to have it out. A few things that I really like about the unit is that it gives you your temperature and your pressure. Uh, this is really great for people who are towing. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you are getting proper grip on the road and that the tongue weight and all the weight on your, your uh, hitch is not going to put too much pressure on the tires. Another good thing about the wireless sensors is that if you have multiple cars, you can actually swap the sensors out to different cars. So for instance, I just picked up another car a few hours ago that we might end up racing. If we end up racing, we can throw it on that car for races, and if we end up towing in the Xterra, we can throw it on the Xterra. Uh, they can kind of be swapped around, so that's really nice. One of the things I'm not a huge fan of is the external sensor is pretty obvious on your valve stem. So when you're done and you've installed all, the, all of the sensors, you just have this kind of big black sensor sitting at the end of your valve stem. Other than that, it's a pretty solid product. The setup was really, really easy. It came pre-configured. Uh, if you needed to, you could uh, repair other sensors. So let's say the sensor, the battery in the sensor dies, which the, the company claims is up to two years of life. But if you have to replace the battery, you'll likely have to repair it. There is a mode for that, so you don't need to go rebuy all four sensors. If, uh, if you just need to replace batteries, you can repair them. Now this leads me to who's going to be using this, right? Who needs this type of this type of accuracy and this type of feature. Well, thinking about it, there was a few few different groups of people. Now, people who tow, I think this would be a really good thing. Uh, you know, I've seen some trucks with a ton of weight on the back end and the tires are ballooning out. Uh, you know, you really want to know 
at that point how much pressure you're putting on your tires and uh, whether or not you're risking a blowout. Another good set of people would be people who do racing. Whether it's drag or SCCA or time trials, whatever it is, you can uh, accurately see the pressure of each one of your tires on the fly. So if you see, you know, if you go out to a racetrack, you see people with the manuals and they're checking each tire before every single round manually, this kind of gets rid of that. Uh, you can just look at it real quick, see what the pressures are, and then adjust them as needed. And then also, you, it's wireless, the unit is wireless, you don't even have to keep it in the car with you if you don't want to. You can check your pressures, set it aside, do your laps, and then you have the information you need without the extra weight. Now if you are interested in picking this up and you want to give it a try, uh, you can pick it up on Amazon and the link is down below. And because you're awesome, there's also a discount code that the company offered and it's below as well and that will give you 20% off the product. If you do pick it up, uh, share your experience. You know, Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I hope you like it. Uh, I like it. I definitely plan on using it. Uh, there's a few different things I plan on doing with it and uh, I'll share those as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.